song for this experiment because you need something where the engineer or whatever took some time and really got the bass right, you know, or their focus was to have a really rounded low end. Um, so if you're using like a like a straight up like like heavy rock song or something like that, usually bass is all about attack and not yeah. about roundness. So um, you know. Uh, R&B will do wonders. We usually use, what do we used to use? Uh, the uh, Jay-Z and the Neptune song, was it I Know? That song, just because the bass was is really nice in that. Um, so that's a good one to use. Uh, every engineer has their favorite bass low end song. Um, okay, so the experiment basically says is as someone standing in the center of the room, okay, um, this speaker needs to orbit them, okay? And what they need to determine is where, as the speaker orbits them, it goes around the room, where the most uh, low end exists, okay? And where it is mono, thick, bassy. What don't we want? Thin. Thin, okay, because that would be the opposite of thin. <laughs> nice job. Stereo. But what also, yeah, we Some don't want a weird sound. like stereo sound or something where there's like reflection. Final. Yeah, like this weird delay or something like that, because that means that it's bouncing off the walls in a weird way. So we really want to go for mono, thick, and bassy. Let me cue the AC. Uh, leave it on. Okay. Uh, because carrying the speaker around, <laughs> so we're going to work up sweat. Um, all right. Uh, the other thing is, too, did you notice this whole time I've been pulling out my iPhone? Why? Because I have another job? No. Because um, I'm checking the dB app that's on there. So this whole time, I'm always trying to make sure that we're somewhere around 90 dB. Okay. Acousticians will tell you that 80 dB, anything over that, you're starting to damage your hearing. But the normal room here in Os uh, Roslyn uh, is usually at about 60 to 70 dB. So uh, in other words, the minute someone starts talking, we're all going deaf. <laughs> um, so usually 90 is a good listening level. I think you can listen for about eight hours at 90 dB without hurting your hearing. Okay? Consistent. What's that? Eight hours consistent. Yep, yep, nonstop. Um, that's actually the final exam. Uh, all right. Uh, Just don't go deaf and eat yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say you, failed. <laughs> you failed. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, who wants to carry the speaker first? Should I do it first just to kind of show you uh, how it's done? This is why, by the way, why we use the rolling sometimes because they're much lighter. <laughs> um, Steven, do you want to stand in the middle first? And I will orbit, uh, orbit you. Uh, what you're going to need to sort of do is stay in the same spot, but kind of as the chords, they're gonna, you're going to have to like step over them and that type of thing. Uh, sometimes this gets a little complicated, but we'll try to make it as easy as possible. The best way to do it is to make everything sort of orbit around you. So as this cable goes around, you, you periodically want to step over it. So I'm going to pick up the speaker. You can see where the stand is. Yep. Uh, why don't we just get that stand out of the way for right now? You just put it somewhere else. Maybe over the base corner. Uh, cool. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, can you turn the Furman off? Let me show you a little live sound trick. Uh, here, hold the speaker for a second. Got it? Okay. See this cable? Uh, can get unplugged. See this cable? <laughs> that cannot get unplugged. It's impossible. Nice. It's like the snake is biting its head, right? Or it's a new extension cord. Press C. It's, come undone. it's never going to come undone. You can then just unplug it. All right. <laughs> Was there one spot in the room where it was really mono thick bassy? I didn't hear just one. Why don't one you stand in that there, spot like, where you think it I was? I heard more than one spot. I thought it sounded really nice. Right there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah I was like it right here and where you're standing right now. Where I'm standing right now. Okay. And then where you're standing where you're yeah, the mono right there. Right here with the stereo. I thought it was, uh, it was here. It was, uh, okay, so it started. You started hearing more there. Okay. Um, but you guys like to hear, and Forrest, where'd you like it? Right here. 
right there. Yeah, yeah. Now, honestly, the by the way, though, here. I've set the drums up right there in front of the drawers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's a later class. Never mind. I just get, let the cat out of the bag. Um, but yeah, that's a nice spot. This is a nice spot. Uh, this over here, I remember one time I was in here, I was playing keys for some reason. This was a long time ago. But I was playing keys and I was standing in this corner and it was just like the bass monster was attacking me uh, because it was just all this low end buildup. It didn't also help too. There was a bass player over here and a speaker was faced right towards, <laughs> towards the, the corner. So it was just like, well. But, um, you know, do you think we want to put our first speaker? Because the next step after placing the speaker is to now figure out the distance between the two speakers, okay? Because now, so where do you think, so, and by the way, there's not one right answer. The one, you know, if it sounds good here and it sounds good over here, then let's pick one of those, okay? Or if it sounds good over here, let's pick one of them and then, so the end, yeah, we can't do both. At the two, one, uh, uh, yeah, can't occupy the same. Anyway. Think face at center? What's that? Is that where the ideal center should be between the two speakers? Um, the ideal center Keep will the spot that you that's what I'm saying that's the one that we're referencing right now where we pick. We want to build the speakers around those or exactly okay mm -hmm. exactly. So what are we thinking? Like right there? Yeah, I'm thinking like right around. Okay. There. And should we have the speaker then face this way? Yeah. 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 Alright. Cool. So let's put the one speaker there and then let's get the second speaker stand. Uh, and let's put the next speaker stand right next to this one. In other words, get them so that the speakers are as close together as possible. 